Hello humans, welcome back to my world of stuff. I am this guy. Um, an unboxing for you today, surprise unboxing, of a film which had completely passed me by. It's actually out on physical media today. I thought it was still playing in the cinemas, and I think it probably still is. Um, it just goes to show the um, speed with which uh, the window is closing between theatrical releases and physical releases. Uh, because... I discovered yesterday this was out today, so I went straight into Mr. Amazon and put in an order. And it turned up this afternoon when I was out. Um, you will have noticed there was no physical media update video last week. It's because there was no update. I hadn't bought anything last week. Uh, I just didn't pick anything up in my travels, such as they were. Um, but before I opened that, I did pick up two bits this afternoon from a charity shop visit. Um, nothing particularly um, exceptional, but things I just picked up I thought I'd show you. Like a Mr. Motorbike. I picked this one up from a charity shop. It was two for a pound. I was going to get this, but then they said it was two for a pound. So I went and got something else. This is Minority Report, the um, Tom Cruise starring uh, Steven Spielberg, a future crime film. Um, got it, of course. I got it, of course. This is a Steelbook edition, a Steelbook DVD set. Um, both discs look to be in pretty good condition. Um, I think I've got this on Blu ray anyway, but a Steelbook of any description of 50p. It's not something you're going to leave on the shelf. And to make up the pound, I got uh, this one, A Walk Amongst the Tombstones. This stars um, Liam Neeson as Matt Scudder, a troubled former NYPD investigator, now ruthless, unlicensed private detective. Yeah, it's another one of those Liam Neeson films. Uh, it came and went last year, the year before. There's so many of these films, it's hard to keep up with them all. Uh, Neeson is on terrific warm, stylish and gripping. It's probably fine. He does these pot boil action films. Uh, four or five a year and they're always reasonably entertaining and just to make up the, the pound uh, for the two I just picked up that one so the one I actually bought today uh, everybody's doing unboxings for this today I've already noticed so I thought I might as well as well and as I said it was just uh, I was just hadn't occurred to me it would be coming out physically this quickly because um, like most of you I saw it on streaming when it was released originally and then I went back to the cinema and saw it on the big screen the day cinemas reopened. So let's get this open and see what Mr. Amazon has given us. It is, of course, the epic battle between Godzilla and Kong. Now yours, yours to own on Blu-ray, DVD or 4K. I went for the Blu-ray because I'm trying to educate myself out of the must get 4K, must get 4K, because there's nothing wrong with Blu-rays. Uh, it is just a Blu-ray, there's no DVD, which is absolutely fine. Uh, like I said, I was just amazed that this is already out, because as far as I'm aware, I think it's still showing in cinemas. I know that uh, new releases are starting to move a bit thicker and faster now, but I think this is still in some certain cinemas. So, of course, I had to have it on physical, because it's a great film. I really enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed watching it at home. I enjoyed watching it in the cinema. I think the experience was slightly sour by the fact that I was the only one there. Um, I don't think you need a bit of audience interaction for something like this, but it, you know, I'm glad I've seen it on the big screen, and I'm looking forward to catching up with it again. So this is what you get for your buck. You get, of course, the lovely slip case. Uh, no gloss or anything on it. It's a fairly matte sort of cover, but a very dramatic image of our two titans preparing to beat crap out of each other. Um, on the back is the um, details. Uh, comments from various press reviews and so on. So yeah, nice little slip cover. The disc, of course, has got the same uh, same cover and the same back cover. And uh, let's get this bad boy open. Like I said, I just I, it just hadn't crossed my mind that this was out yet. I'm sure I noticed it a few months ago, but just thought of June is a long way away. But of course, it's crept up on us. So there's the disc in its lovely Blu-ray case, um, fairly box standard inside, there's no art on the disc itself, just a, a blue Blu-ray, um, but at least I was pleased to notice there are some decent special features, there's a commentary by the director Adam Wingard, uh, I'm not a big commentary person but I might give this a listen, uh, there's 10 featurettes over an hour of excitement which includes um, presumably all the behind the scenes stuff and the special effects and things, so that should be quite uh, I, I do like some of the behind the scenes stuff, so I'm glad that they're still doing that on Blu-rays and, and 4Ks. So, um, yeah, there is a full review of the film, which I did at the time when it was released. Uh, further back in my channel archive, go and have a look at it. And 
why not stop and look at some of the other videos while you're there um yeah i really like this film it's unpretentious it's a monster mashup and it doesn't make the mistake that the previous entries in the recent franchises have had the dreadful king of the monsters for example the very disappointing godzilla the only one i really liked is kong skull island because that was unashamedly a big monster movie and that's what this is adam wingard has realized that we're here to see these two titans beating crap out of each other the human stuff is by the by it's very perfunctory it's it's the, the story and the plot is actually ludicrous some of the things go into incredible bizarre concepts about the hollow earth and these uh, little spaceship capsules that they use to follow Kong down to the centre of the earth. It's all completely barking mad. But it's terrific fun because there's several fight scenes between these two. And then, of course, spoiler, Mecha Godzilla turns up at the end and it's a free-for-all. Uh, it's just a great film and I really had to have it on Blu-ray and I think any monster fan will want to have it too. So that's uh, today's lovely delivery of the brand new Hot Off The Presses release of Godzilla vs Kong. Um, let me know down below if you've picked it up today, what format you picked it up in. Uh, what you thought of the film, when you're going to rewatch it, and uh, yeah, let me know um, what you think of the disc. It's a nice, yeah, it's a nice little disc. Uh, right, that's me done. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. I know everybody's doing this stuff, but um, I might as well join in. Um, and look back at the archive of 50 odd previous uh, videos that I've done, all sorts of bits and pieces, with plenty more to come. Until next time we meet, all I have to say is, keep taking the stuff.